Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Backpack Bells run and today I'm gonna try to tank my rank by actually getting a Gubert build running the new Gubert, there is a new Gubert in build. First of all, let's get the leather bag and I got a box of riches for three which works like a piggy bank if you think about it, so we're gonna buy that. And I would say over going for Pocket Sun that's on sale and is good, yes, I would say let's go for a second banana and uh, let's go. Now I do want to amass money for specifically when the rares are 40% chance to actually trigger. I would like to have had a double sword here but it's okay. Uh, they have a wooden buckler, we have a second banana. Let's see who wins. Banana every 5 seconds heal for 4 guaranteed. Wooden buckler 35% of the time get 3 shielding. Will the 35% of the time trigger more often than the banana heals us for 4? Who knows? Who knows? Fatigue is the damage we actually want to come in because the banana does work for fatigue while the shielding does not work for fatigue. Draw? Yes, draw. Woo, almost lost there. Almost lost, but we won. And we got an attack speed stone. Might as well put it on the good old wooden sword. And we also found a whetstone. And we also found the wooden sword number two. And this is the classic start you want to go with. Double sword plus a whetstone plus spikes, but I don't have the spikes. Uh, I'm not going to reroll here. Let's actually go and hope for the best. And do they have spikes? They don't have spikes. They have double whetstone, we have double banana. Let's see what wins. And I also have a chip top has, so I have a bit more attack speed. Ah, double banana took the lead here. Heal one more time, please. Yes, we actually won. Almost lost, but we actually won. Very nice. We got those early wins that are very, very important. We got a poison stone. That's actually really good early game. And do I want even the fanny pack? Honestly, no. I, do, I would like this, but no. Let's roll him. I don't care about that. I do care about money income, but no. Uh, we found the second medstone I found in our box, which is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Do I want the hero sword right now? I can either get these two or get these two. I would say we get these two and get even more gems for free. Let's lock this down and let's go. And this should give us enough strength here. I should start selling gems, by the way. Which gems I'm going to sell? I think the life piercing ones should go. Uh, hopefully we're going to win here. This guy got the super potion, so we should lose from that fact alone. Double potion maybe? Ah, we lost. It's okay, fair enough, fair enough. But now we get two stones per round. I don't know why one is getting flung. Let's do a combo up. Let's do a... Come on, man. Let's combo the green stones here. Let's buy this. Uh, we got the chance to remove opponent buffs. Mm, I mean, that's the best gem in the game. <laughs> Uh, do I want? I mean, this really is super, super busted and broken, and we definitely want to get the combo going on here. Uh, I would like to reorganize the moment, but let's first reroll. No, 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 no. Okay, so I got what I wanted from the common pool. Now I care about the rare pool, right? So I'm not gonna reroll. We're gonna keep the money for when the rare is 40%, and we're gonna reroll all my money there, so we specifically find Gooberts. That's the plan. Uh, let's actually reorganize just a moment to get the poison gems to level up, I would say. So you go here... Okay, done, back. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to use the these two. The attack speed and the ma mana gain. I could reroll here to maybe find room. I don't need to reroll. We're going to keep the money. I can sell these two anyway when I need to. Let's see. We are removing the buffs. Buffs, actually. They don't have buffs. They have mana gain, but that's a useless buff. We are getting poisoned, which is pretty bad, but they're also getting poisoned. And when they get poisoned, we once in a while take the poison away to get to regen on our end. Is that actually useful? We won. We won. Useful or not, we won. Let's go. These are not going to combine. Nice. Two more gems of the... Wow, I got three gems that remove opponent buffs. Here you go. Here you go. Good poison gem goes on you. I guess you can go here to remove debuffs. And you can go here to give us energy. Uh, but now Carrot is guaranteed yes. Carrot is part of the build. Let's uh, roll them because of the Gooberts. Uh, do I want a fanny pack? Not really. I just want more room. Nice. We found Blood Amulet, which is Vampirism for the Gooberts. That's also really good. I would say this actually joins over luck. Luck is irrelevant in this aspect. Um, actually, I would even say energy gain is even more relevant. And I'm still waiting for the 35, 45, 40, 40% rares to force the Gooberts in. Let's see. If they have buffs, we take them away. Please be a spike build. It's not a spike build. Come on, man. We're going to take that luck away. Gone. We have two vampirism. They do have double garlic, of course. <laughs> we are also applying poison. Why do I... Why do I get blinded? What? Oh, they have a broom. Okay, fair enough. And also a blue gem. We are losing here. Very heavily even. We lost the vampirism. They even had the removal ball. I, I mean, what are the chances that I'm going to fight against somebody that has anything removal that we have? That was so unlucky there. Doesn't matter. This is the time. 40% chance for error. We have 12 coins. Not really that many. But the time has come for us to roll into what we need, uh, which is rare items. A bunch of... <laughs> not one of these. We're gonna buy a room. I'm, I'm not gonna... Actually, I should remove these because now I actually want the rare items. I don't care about that box of riches either. Let's roll them. We need Gubrits. Here we go. Found one. And I also found the weapon. This is not the weapon of choice, but it could easily become... 
this is a very good weapon to have early game i'm gonna get that especially because it's on sale and can sell it so because i'm gonna switch to this weapon i'm gonna instantly create the steel gubert first gubert steel gubert might as well uh, let's also min max a bit by putting these over here actually why would i go steel gubert what am i talking about no 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 no, no. vampirism gubert is the best blood gubert is by far the best at least it's better than the steel gubert and i'm even inclined to say I prefer to go for free gems over removing of cleansing enemy debuffs as I already have eight every eight second a random cleanse debuff, which is the same thing that the carrot does every four seconds. The difference being that the stones are going to combine. I'm a 20, 35% chance to poison and 30% chance to remove a buff. And also I would like these to be here so that all of them activate the goobert. Nice. I think we're good. I think we're good. And this is going to become a poison goobert. I could. Did I min max this just a smidge more? Pretty sure I can min max this just a smidge more. Ha! This is just a smidge more. And luck as last but not least. Nice. So now we have the bananas. And once again, I want the blood goobert. Let's go. Let's go. And I'm going to buy that as a weapon of choice. And now we just need to roll for goobert. That's it. I got my weapon of choice. Now we're going to roll for goobert. This uh, wooden sword is going to get sold. We definitely want to be able to get rid of any poison and regeneration the opponents have. They took away all our vampirism. But we have goobert healing us. Theoretically, we should out heal them. We're also poisoning them. We're out poisoning them and out healing them. They do have a pocket strong health potion. Which they just drunk, but I can take these buffs away, so that's not an issue. Uh, we still are out poisoning them. Take the heal. Ah, we're dying! Come on! One last goobert hit and we won. Nice, we actually won. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And now I got the blood goobert, which is busted. And I got even a combo there. I think the time has come for these to get out again. So this here, every... Uh, first of all, gives you two vampirism, and every six activations steals ten life from the opponent. And plus the vampirism you have. So let's say you don't have vampirism at all. The opponent loses 10 life and you gain 10 life. So that's a 20 damage difference. A lot better than the other one. And it can also crit. Because if I have lifted up, you see this here lighting up. That means that I can put it in here to get the crit chance. 3% uh, chance to remove debuffs. I would like to combine that there. And I would say let's go rip sake uh, blade. We're going to sell the wooden sword number 2. Because that's never going to join again. Let's go with removing debuffs. And uh, it's going to be reorganized time in a moment. Let's roll here. I found a room 3 for 5. For 3 cost, five, 4 room. Not 3 for 5, 3 for 4. Uh, let's put all of these in. Wow, this has a triple triple sockets? This is insane. Since when does this have triple sockets? Completely insane. So actually start combining gems. Gems are going to be important in the Gubert build in general. Reason being, of course, that I'm going to roll here to try to find the Gubert's first of all. No, and I find a second carry. That's very important. Uh, I would like to say I don't care about the poison gemstone. At least not the low level one. Actually, is that going to help us get the carrot? No. Let's put these back in. So we get two for free in the beginning. And I would like to combine these energy ones. I don't care about the like, clover in this specific instance. Uh, I need things that trigger fast here. This is every 11 seconds. This is every 11 seconds. Wow, these are very slow. So this is every 4 seconds. Therefore, this gets there. So this activates more often. And now I need to force Gubert's, man. I need to just roll for Gubert's all the time, every time, every round. Maybe even sell the box of riches. I think we already got enough buffs. Oh, look, it's a spike build. Get countered, man. Boom. Done. You don't have spikes anymore. For some reason, I don't have the Ripsaw Cable Age hitting the Gubert. I don't know what I was thinking there. Not that it really matters, in my opinion. I think we should have this. They are out poisoning us, but we are also removing poison slowly with the carrot. And uh, they, for some reason, also are cold. What do I have that... Oh, these apply cold. The chip to rubies. Yeah, yeah. We won. Easy enough. We have so many things going on here that we should be winning. Continue getting free gems. Gems continue combining. We got the piercing arrow, obviously. Crit chance and chance to get luck. And we found the good old carrot. I mean, we didn't find it, but we had it there. Chance to pierce directly. Okay, I think the time has come to completely remove the box of riches from the build. Because I have 30% chance to get rares. I'm not going to sell them right now, but we need to find the Goobers, man. And it needs to happen right this moment. And we found the Boinar, which is the actual weapon of choice. So uh, this is the weapon of choice because it has a very good shape for Goobers. And also on crits, it attacks twice. And attacking twice is really good with Goobers in general. Ah, I'm not going to buy this. That's not good, of course, but it is what it is. Let's go with you also pierce life and freeze. Or actually just give it attack speed. I need to reorganize here, and we need room for that matter. I think the box of riches has to go. I, I can't really fit it anymore. And we are getting out of hand completely here. Let's roll to maybe find my 30% chance for Gooberts. No. No. Found room at least, the good kind. And found box of riches again. I would say we sell the poison gem. Let's get the room. And let's buy the bow and arrow. I need to reorganize completely. And this also needs to fit in. And we got healing too. And this stealing of buffs is also good, I guess. So, yeah, reorganize time. Oh, 
Okay, I'm back. Done. Uh, I mean, right now the build isn't perfect, but it's pretty decent. So this thing is hitting, is getting activated from three items. This one every nine seconds. Actually, every eight seconds. This one every eight seconds. Did we organize this even better, I think? The banana is every five seconds. Yeah, let's do this. So we're going to flip the banana up there. That's better. So this one, it's going to get activated. So every every time banana, sword, or a carrot activates, this has a 50% chance to give us luck. Which is really good. And then the sword right now is getting buffs away, attacking faster and healing us. This sword, which attacks a bit fast, is poisoning the opponents. And this bow and arrow, whenever it fires, it has a chance to remove debuffs from opponents. We also have a carrot, two carrots to remove debuffs from us. Uh, buffs from the opponents is what I meant. And then we also have bananas to give us energy. And the blood gooberit is not only getting activated from all four corners, but it also is getting crit chance and crit damage from the piercing arrow. Which the crit arrow is also hitting the bow and arrow. In general, the rip cage blade, this thing... It's not going to stay in the build. We're going to have a double, triple arrow build as a weapon build. So just keep that in mind. Now let's go. And they have spikes, so we should be countering them. And vampirism, we, we just take all of that away. We, we are very powerful at just removing all those debuffs. Uh, buffs, and they're gone. And now they have poison. We have vampirism. We have luck. They have nothing left. It's over for them. They are getting shielding, yeah, but that is not going to matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, I'm also starting to get empowered from the carrots now, so it's even better for us. And they're gone. And I'm gone. And now we need to force Gooberts. Now we guarantee need to force Gooberts as it's over. The build doesn't have anything else to go for. Let's roll him. I'm just gonna roll into Gooberts. There is literally nothing else that we want. Let's get Gooberts one. We need three more. Forcing Gooberts. And a lightsaber, of course, is what we need. And I need room two. Five for four is not really that good. Uh, let's continue rolling. Let's continue rolling. Three for five is really good, though. And I think we're gonna stop here. This Gooberts is not gonna really fit. Let's go. Although this Gooberit should get into the build and become the Hero Sword Gooberit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we might get, get a loss here. Let me reorganize, put this Gooberit in, get the Hero Sword going, and then uh, we're gonna come back. Okay, you know what? I, I changed opinion. I'm gonna get this Hero Sword Gooberit going next turn. We need more room. I need more room. I need to just fit all of this easily in. I don't want to lose the fight. And right now we are winning. This is Spike's build. We destroyed this. We destroy this. Spike's build are not a thing. We are completely empty spikes with the bus. So, oh no, they got more spikes. Boom, gone. Gone. We also have Empress. We have attack speed. We have mana. Like, we, we gain everything. We also have luck. Now we gain in power. The only downside is we get debuffed, but it's it's gone. Hey, they are gone. They're gone. Nice. Let's go here. Boom. 3, 4, 5 is really good. Roll them. I found our Goober. Let's go. It's happening, boys. Now we know another bow and arrow. Perfect. So, this bow and arrow joins. The ribcage blade goes. And the hero sword also goes. I think we're starting to become busted slowly. So, this Gooberit goes here and becomes a steel Gooberit. And this Gooberit's gonna go next and become the carrot Gooberit. We're slowly, slowly. We don't, we're, there is no rush in getting the combos going. There is no rush. We just need to get the things I want, nothing else. And be a bit lucky. I need two more Gooberits and one lightsaber. That's it. We got all the other pieces. So, two, we're missing three items for the super new rainbow Gooberit. And let's also hope we're not gonna get losses. Because losses are going to be really bad. Now, having a lot of luck is obviously hitting, uh, helping us with the crits. Because the more crits we do, the arrow double attacks. And we won. Very nice. Very nice. Boom. Another win. And the Gooberts comboed. Uh, boom. And this is the Steel Gooberts. So, every five activations, this thing gives us... The, every five star activations, this gives us 14 shielding. And also two damage to the things that are in the triangle shape. That's going to go up here, by the way. I already have the spot for it. So, as I, as I said, there is going to be a need to reroll time. But not right now. Because now I'm going to get the carrot Gooberit. And then we're going to fit everything in. I should. I found the lightsaber. Ooh, I found the lightsaber. 20% uh, for air. I mean, I'm going to buy the bow and the lightsaber. These are both main integral parts of the build. The ripsaw blade is not going to really stay. Is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about only going for bow and arrow. Double bow and arrow build is what I'm thinking. Although this has 1.7 attack speed. This has 3.5. So the bow and arrow attacks pretty slowly. But that doesn't matter because most of the Gubert activations should be happening from a bunch of other things and not specifically from the bow and arrow. I could also just go with this, right? Bow and arrow plus Ripsaw Blade. Like, that, that, that's the simplest solution. I can just go with this very simple build here. I don't think I need a second bow and arrow. If I find it later, then maybe yes. For now, let's buy the lightsaber as it's if must. And let's maybe roll into Gubert's 20%. No. 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 And I found the bow and arrow for four. I'm going to buy it. Uh, and it's cheap. Wow, for three a crit thing. Crit thing's really good. No, 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 I wasn't fast enough. I should have put that there. And or, or maybe the banana over there. So we trigger this Gooberit more often. I don't think we're gonna lose anyway. This guy's spikes region build, they're gone. They also have scaling though with the magic staff, so they will outscale us. Although we should also outscale them at the same time as I'm also getting in power buffs. It says a 50-50. We got this next hit should be a win. 
Very nice. Very nice. We got another win. Let's continue on. We're still forcing Gubert, man. Got the combo. And we got the carrot Gubert. So every five activations lands in three random debuffs and gives us two damage for five seconds. Why for five seconds, though? I would prefer if it was one damage forever. And two damage every five seconds. This can go here. Now we have all of those. Uh, let's buy this and this. And let's roll for Guberts again. Mm, no. Nah, yes. I'm missing only one. I'm missing only one. I'm missing only one Gubert, And we, we won. Uh, I'm not going to fit the bone hour here. So we're going to buy this Gubert next. Combine it with the lightsaber. All of these are triggering from the Ripsaw Blade. Could I min max this just a smidge more? Maybe. Do I need to win Max's Smidge more? I don't think so. This every 5 activation, this every 5 activations. I could flip this maybe. No, I don't think it makes sense. Actually, having the Gubert here getting hit by the arrow makes more sense. But then this doesn't fit. Unless I do this. Yep, and then this crit chance goes to the this. Because when this crits, this double attacks. So we want the crits to be on the rip saw, not on the other one. And we still have the rest. And now this is actually activating a bit more often. Now I'm gonna do this, because this now still activates the same, but it gives damage to the bone arrow. Nice, this is actually shaping up better and better. And I got another Gubert. I'm super happy. I'm super ready. We're ready to do this. We need one more Gubert, and we have everything. Everything. We literally have everything, and we need one more Gubert. We are removing all the buffs and whatever the opponents are getting with the Ripcage Blade, so we, we I'm not really afraid of what the opponent is doing. I'm also removing my debuffs. We are dying right now. I'm gaining shielding. I'm gaining damage. I'm gaining buffs. I'm gaining stats, I'm gaining luck. Come on, and we won. Google, we won. Let's go into Endless. Six more rounds left. We got enough time to get the run up and going. One more Gubert's here. And now, 20% chance. 10 coins. Let's do it. Boom. First try. No, second try. Boom. Third try, because I'm lucky. Boom. Believe in myself. Fourth try. Fifth try, because I don't believe anymore. Now it's gonna happen, though. It's gonna happen. And first of all, I need the money. I, I need room. <laughs> I need room. I need room. <laughs> uh, change your plan. Change your plans. Okay, I need one more Gubert, by the way. The build is literally ready. Uh, because I also got the lightsaber, which I'm gonna combine right here. So, I'm inclined to say one Gubert needs to go. Actually, no. We just are not gonna use a ripcage blade for one turn. Oh, this is a double sword. Ah, remove buffs and go with lifesteal and switch these. Nice. Uh, is this Gubert going to activate this way? And yeah, whenever this activates. This activates pretty often. Yeah, the lightsaber is going to combine here. I think we're ready to go. Let's hope for the best. We might lose this, obviously. <laughs> because I don't have a weapon of choice inside the build. This is every 9 seconds. This is every 8 seconds cleanse. Sorry, I'm not poisoning the opponent, so that's completely useless. Let's go with energy regen then. And uh, let's go. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Literally one goober to go. Whoop, this is a spikes build. We might remove enough. I'm not really sure. The lightsaber will take away whatever buff it decides to take away. We also have Amphrism on our end, so we should be healing. We don't have attacks, but this is the issue. It's a 50 50 on hitting the mana away, which is pretty bad. Get the spikes away, man. Get the spikes. Come on, man. Get the spikes away. Lightsaber, lightsaber. The spikes, the spikes. Lightsaber. Wow, we got the spike. Let's go. Look at this. We got 34 poison. We could have won this. We could have won this. We could have won this. Okay, it doesn't matter. We have so many lives anyway for this exact purpose. Boom. Now we go back to the ripcage blade. And now we have another Gubert, which is this guy, the light Gubert. Every six activations, heal 18 and inflict the poison six blindness. I need one last Gubert. Boom, got it. Three, two, one. Gubert, boom. I saw the bone arrow. Three, Gubert, boom. The Gubert. Gubert, go. Uh, I'm, I'm going to buy two for four. Gubert, go. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We got it. We got the build. And not only did we get the build, it's guaranteed. We have three lives. We're, and we're going to even use it for five turns. Let's go. Oh, I got the build. I got the build. And even got double arrows. I got the build, man. I got the build. It's here. Let's reorganize. Get the Gubert up and running. And then win next fight. Let's go. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna buy these both. But we need just random stuff right now. <laughs> we just need random stuff that activates because we got the Gubert, man. We just need random fruit that I'm gonna put around it. So, uh, right now we're gonna most likely lose. If we win with this, then so be it. I, obviously, I would hope that we're gonna win with this. Uh, the idea is the following. First of all, do I want it like that? I think I want it like this. I think this is better. So, right now the plan is the following. The... We activate only these three Guberts mostly, right? The, the Blood Gubert the most, uh, right, this. The Blood Gubert the most, this is every eight seconds, yep. The Blood Gubert the most because it's setting three items. And then this thing, I guess, one item. And this also has two items. 
activating it and then also whenever these gubrits activate these gubrits are gonna retroactivate once in a while this is the steel gubrit 14 shielding this is the carrot gubert uh, three cleansing I, I don't really care about this if you lose from debuffs then so be it but i will be healing and uh, making uh, the opponent blinded and also vampirism and healing ourselves while damaging the opponent and also healing this is like a force here here in the middle I d there is definitely a better way to do this but I don't care. We're going for the Rainbow Goobert Mega Sludge Alpha Puddle, uh, which is not uh, to be confused with the Rainbow Goobert Omega Omega Ooze Prime Slime, right? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I've never seen this. This is going to be most likely the most busted item in the game. Uh, let's. Uh, we're, we'll most likely lose from poison here, unless we win from damage. But it doesn't matter. That's why we have a lot of lives. That's why, why I'm doing what I'm doing. We got healing. We got blinding. We have 20 poison. It's over for us. But it's not over for the run itself which is ready to fly off the rails right here two lives are enough to win let's get the god thing let's get the rainbow Google with mega sludge alpha bottle which every six activations first of all this has all around it stars all around it that means it has four and four and four that's literally uh, 12 12 it has 12 activation spots right and every six of those when they activate you heal for 20 you gain 20 shielding so that's already 40 health right there you get two vampirism two empower forever there is no time limit on those so two damage up forever two vampirism forever and inflict four blindness forever by the way, Vampirism, uh, yeah, inflict for blindness forever. There, it doesn't say time. And give the weapons plus four damage once again forever. So you don't only get two empower damage, you also get four weapon damage. Wait a minute. Where is the carrot aspect of removing your own debuffs? Up, up, up. Make mistake. Dev, dev, dev. This thing says remove debuffs. Where is that aspect on this one? Wait a minute. Does the other one also have the same thing? This cleanses poison. Does this cleanse poison? This also doesn't cleanse poison. Okay, so they lose aspect of what they did previously. It doesn't matter, though, because now it's a Gubert God build. It's it's super duper 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 over. Like, you can't even fathom how over this is. I'm going to buy some things, and we're going to reorganize, and then it's like we win. <laughs> uh, do I need energy? Mm, I mean, I need room. So let's buy a triple room to start putting things in. I just need room, man. It's it's like super duper over. We don't need anything else other than up oh, here we go. And our rip cage blade, no. Uh, do I want spikes? No. And uh, let's now put this. This does not get crit. Because this does not do damage. So, uh, reorganize time. Okay, done, I think. Uh, right now, we're still missing some aspects, of course. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's happening. So, right now, I have a bunch of things activating. Now, the Lucky Clover is going to activate once. Uh, the Piercing Hour is going to activate whenever it decides to. But it doesn't matter, man. We have so many things activating here. It's, I mean, once again, this every six activations, every six activations, it gives you 20 health, 20 shielding, two vampirism, two damage forever, inflict four blindness forever, and give your day weapons forever for damage. Okay. First of all, this needs to flip like that. Now, this here activates one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times, seven, seven, like nine, ten times, twelve times. It's we're gonna put even more things in here. So this is gonna fire very, very, very often. You're gonna see now how quickly we're gonna just start getting stats. So you're gonna see just the madness happen in a moment. Oh no, we're losing life. Boom! It activated once. Oh no, we're losing all our buffs. Activate again. Boom! We got our buffs, more buffs. They have 22 vampirism. It doesn't matter. They have 16 blindness. They can't attack us anymore. It's over. <laughs> 20 blindness. We have 10 damage. It's it's super over. <laughs> it's like it begins dangerously, but this does 38 to 40 damage, man. This does 36 to 40 damage. This does like that's insane. We're just scaling stuff. And they had a godlike blood harvester build, by the way. This is a very rare weapon. This is not min ma it's decently min maxed. What are you even doing, man? What is this build? A bunch of vampirism. A bunch of vampirism. What are we gonna play? Vampirism. <laughs> Let's get in our carrots. Obviously, we need things to put in there. Attack speed, yes. Put the carrot. Boom. Actually here. Perfect. I would like to reorganize like this. We need one more item in that corner now. Let's roll them. Another luck for crits. I'm gonna go yes. So these uh, crit more often. So whenever this crits, this double attacks. Whenever this crits, this double attacks. And whenever this crits, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is that this here has a 10% crit chance right now. Because it has both of these. This here has a 15% crit chance. Because it has both of these and the backpack. And I'm talking about the crit chance per luck, by the way. What I'm talking about right now. Uh, let's roll one coin. Doesn't matter. We got Tiltilla for more attack speed. I'm going to put somewhere down here hitting a Gubrit alongside everything else. And uh, I would like to buy room. Yes. We need three more rounds to get three wins. We can't lose anymore, by the way. Oh, no. It's a crazy mad lad spikes attack speed build that's going to be stacking a bunch of buffs. Oh, no. What shall we do? I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. We will out heal them. We have vampirism. We have healing. We have shielding. 
Vampirism heals you for however damage you do, plus the Vampirism. Look at this, we're taking over. They cannot attack us anymore. They have 20 blind, and I'm full life. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> this is 44 to 46, and this also has a 10% chance, 10% uh, life steal, right? So... Uh, by the way, a lot of people were telling me that they want to see the numbers at the end. Here you go. The numbers at the end. Let me actually scroll down a bit. Let's also go up so we can see. 46 damage at the end, but I wanted to see something before this. Look at this. 42 damage from bow and arrow. 44 damage from this. And, and no healing, by the way. No healing because Vampirism does not work on ranged weapons. 44 damage on the ribcage blade. 12 healing from the one uh, from the healing. And then 5 healing from the percentage base. So this is like 18 healing right here. And then another 20 healing. What is this? We lost life? Gain 20 from Vampiric. Ah, that's the opponent things. Yeah, man, we also have healing from vampirism, from banana, from uh, from the guru itself, giving us 40 heal every time it activates. It's just madness. On the gem, I don't care about that. Uh, let's get room. Let's get the Torquilla right here, I would say. I think this hits more items, or I can bring it over here. I'm going to say over here. This is also activating, so it helps with piercing arrow activations. Nice. Uh, let's roll. Nice room guaranteed. And I would say let's go. Let's continue. At this point, we everything that is around this is activated per second. So right now we have guaranteed everything around this activating the Rainbow Gubrit. Mega Sludge Alpha Puddle. Let's go. Let's go. I'm super happy that we got what we got. Oh no, it's a bunch of things builds. Uh, first of all, spikes are not a thing against us because we have Ribcage Blade. And you're also blinded. So attacking us is also not a thing against us. And I'm scaling damage. The only issue is we us getting blinded. I didn't think about this. We won. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they do to us. We destroy them anyway. I could get a book of light to start not getting blinded. I would say yes to that. And I'm also going to say yes to counter it. Just cleansing is good. Let's go double carrot here in the corner. You can go like this, getting buffs. When the opponents get poisoned, who cares? This is... This is every three seconds. This is every... I mean, I can't put it here. This is every eight seconds. This is very, very slow. You know what I want to do though? I want to somehow, yeah, this goes here and put this here. So this activates more often. I want to start gaining more piercing arrow shots, honestly speaking. And uh, could I do that better? I think right now it's good. I think right now we're good to go. I really enjoy the debuffing. <laughs> we got an arrow with The brother, the lost, long, the long lost brother. Let's get room. I can put it over here. Five for four is decent. Although, oh, this is the last turn. No, we should have rerolled everything and sold whatever we didn't have. We win. Slow this down. This is a win. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying we win before even seeing what's happening. Oh, no, we are blinded. What shall we do? We are still blinded. Well, guess what? We are removing the buffs very fast. And you're dying. We have 11 damage. Next hit's gonna destroy this guy. 60 crit. Boom. 86. Pff, gone. Gone. 40. 40. Uh, 42. <laughs> this the Mega Sludge Omega thingy fired at the... Look at this. The Ripstray Blade's 200 something. With one bore in our 130 something. The R172. 86 crit at the end. And it didn't even fire a second shot, by the way. Because that would also be a crit with 86 damage. As this has a 100% crit chance right now. So the, the last hit I did there would have been 160 something damage. We didn't fire in time. Look at this madness, man. Look at this madness. Crit from the Ripple Gauge Blade. 74. We heal 8 from Vampirism. We heal 8 from the Ruby. We get... we The opponent lose 1 mana because it happened to roll that we remove a debuff. We get luck from the Piercing Arrow. The, we cleanse a poison from the Carrot. That happened a couple of milliseconds later. And this Carrot here activated and gave us 20 shielding, 20 healing, 2 Vampirism, 2 damage, 4 blindness on the opponent. And this is happening like all the time from the beginning. We start the fight, the opponents get all the buffs at the start of the fight, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then here, boom, Carrot fires, Carrot activates, da 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 We can go like this, Carrot activates, boom, 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 boom. Next item, we, uh, we attack with a bow and arrow, twice, okay? Actually, both arrows attack. One, one. That's two, two, two counts. Three on the banana. Four on the other banana. Five here. And boom, another activation. I didn't actually count correctly, or this every five items. I guess I didn't count an item, but that's what always happens. So this activates again. Ah, the piercing arrow hit. Piercing arrow hits. Boom, this activates. Then opponent plays. Activation one, Ripshade Blade. Activation two. No, the book doesn't count. <laughs> activation two, the good old carrot. Activation three, the bow. The bow right here, which uh, missed the attack, by the way. Missed the attack. Oh, it attacked twice. So that's three and four, I guess. And then Blueberry is five. Once again, I missed the count. And then it fires again. It's it's insane, man. It's insane. It's insane. The fact that you just you just fire a bunch of things and then it fires again and then again and again. From here. Look at this. Six, 688, it fires. Okay? Carrot fires one. 
right? It also happened to give us damage. Carrot fires two, which also happens to give us damage. Bow fires once, bow fires twice, so we're already at four activations. How do I lose an activation? Why do I lose an activation? Cleanse, carrot one, carrot two, bow three and four, ribcage five, and it fires again. Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. It fires here, here, rib shade, six, and then it fires again. This is, it's insane, man. It's insane. Every two seconds, I was gaining an activation of this. Even less than two seconds. 677 is the one activation, and then 652 is the next one. Completely insane. Am I wrong about this? I might be reading this wrong. Nope, I'm, I'm reading this correctly. This is, this is busted. It's busted. You just force the build, man. That's how you do it. You get the ribcage blade. I mean, I was pretty lucky here. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This was, at, at this point, I, I would say the fifth attempt, sixth attempt. I was trying to get a falcon blade go build going, but no, man, you don't need falcon blade because falcon blade is taking a lot of time away from early game rolls. You want to, early game rolls, you want to force goobirds, right? When you have that 40% chance for errors to 30% chance for errors, you want to roll the goobirds as fast as possible because you're not gonna find them, man. All the runs I'm dying from are because I'm not finding the goobirds in time. So I'm super happy we got this going. This is how you do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for sticking here at the end for the explanations and reading through. I might not be reading everything perfectly. We got 21 points up. Let's let's go back to Diamond, although I don't really care about rating, honestly. Uh, if anything, being at lower rating is better because you can play more and have more fun and actually play whatever build. I'm reading some comments that are like, yo, if you play in higher meta, you're going to see that the main uh, meta is... Uh, lightsaber build burst or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> why, why, why would I want to play in a mode where you can't have fun? Why would I want to go into a difficulty setting where opponents are just using blindness all the time and, uh, you know, extremely, I guess, oppressive tactics? I want to have fun. And I'm having fun. And I think this Omega, who's super build, destructible, whatever build, would have died from the lightsaber build because this was not the burst build we had. We were a slow and steady build. Although the slow and steady is within nine seconds, you die. But still, it's like a slow and steady build. You need to build it up. You could definitely do a better build than what I did. You could go for maybe Vampire Claws, maybe Stones. A stone build would also be good. Having a bunch of stones getting thrown every three seconds, that would be good. A bunch of things are better for specifically the Goobert build, right? Stones build, I believe, is really good, as I said, and uh, maybe Claw. Anything. You want weapons that either are ranged, so that you don't get hit from spikes. Although, if you use ranged weapons, you're not gonna be able to heal from Vampirism, as Vampirism is only melee. Or, you want just a bunch of fruit, so that the fruit heal you, cleanse the debuffs, give you mana and luck and whatnot, while in the meantime, the Gubrid powers up your one main weapon, which is the way I try to go for. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.